I just wanted to give it a go. I actually took a night course six years ago, like out of the blue, for studying business. It seemed interesting, fun, creative. Um, and then pottery has this kind of amazing thing where it just takes over your entire life, step by step. I see it happen to all of my students. You know, they start with a night course. All of a sudden, you know, they do pottery five hours a week, and then 10, and then you end up like me, where you drop your business degree and do pottery because it's where you feel most at home. There's this really interesting dynamic because it sits in the craft world where the technical skill required to do pottery is intense, it takes a long time to learn. My third class, I nearly gave up on the wheel, learning to throw, centering, keeping your hands still is the skill that nobody has. And I kind of think we live in this world now where nobody allows themselves to be bad at anything. So to like sit at pottery and be shit at it and just do it anyway is amazing. Amateur means to do something for the love and we kind of view amateur as bad. But actually to do something for the love of it is much more beneficial than to do something because you're good at it. And then like everything, it just, like it does, it, as it takes over your life, you get better and better. You fall into a niche in pottery. I fell into coloured clay. It's the kind of this, you have more control over colour than you do when you're glazing. If anything, doing pottery taught me how to fail taught me to let go of that perfectionist tendency and try something for the sake of it. Sometimes, you know, you go in putting a piece into the kiln expecting something and something totally different comes out and it's actually better than you could have ever imagined. So pottery is ancient, really ancient. In that way, everything's been done. When I fell into coloured clay, there was no one in our area teaching it. So a combination of online and basically a lot of trial and error. The techniques I've developed, I developed them, but they're not totally unique um, in that. There are just certain ways you do things in clay. And if you don't, it breaks. Totally. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I think the only thing you really need is, is confidence to try anything.